begin, tilt the engine up for approximately one minute to allow any trapped oil to drain back to the oil sump. After about a minute, tilt the outboard to a vertical position. Use a 16 millimeter or 5 8 inch wrench and loosen the oil drain valve so that it can be turned by hand. Be careful not to open the valve too far, allowing oil to drain. Attach a 12 millimeter or 7 16 of an inch inside diameter drain hose to the oil drain valve. Position the opposite end of the hose into an appropriate container. Loosen the oil drain valve two and a half turns to allow oil to drain. Do not exceed two and a half turns. Loosening the oil drain valve past two and a half turns may cause damage to the seal. At this point, we will change the engine oil filter, remove the plug from the oil trough, and attach a 12 millimeter or 7 16 of an inch inside diameter drain hose to the fitting. Position the opposite end of the hose into an appropriate container. Unscrew the old filter by turning the filter to the left. Allow oil in the trough to drain and remove the oil drain hose. Clean any oil from the oil trough and install the plug. Clean the oil filter mounting base. Then apply a small layer of clean oil to the filter gasket. Do not use grease. Screw new filter on until gasket contacts base, then tighten three quarter to one turn. After the filter has been installed and all spilled oil is cleaned up, we will refill the oil reservoir. For exact information on recommended engine oil and oil capacity, reference your owner's manual or maintenance decal on your engine. Remove the oil fill cap and add the recommended engine oil. This will bring the oil level within the midpoint of the operating range. Idle engine for five minutes and check for leaks. To find out more information on changing the engine oil, refer to a Mercury owner's manual or visit mercurymarine.com and click on the dealer locator tab.